Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert here from MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores. We're here to discuss replacing four foot fluorescent light bulbs with four foot LED light bulbs and the different ways they come. LED fluorescent replacement light bulbs and these come three major ways. There's a third type that we're not too fond of and it is a ballast driven LED light bulb where you have a light fixture such as this with the ballast. Just take a LED that's made for a ballast and snap it in and the ballast will drive the light bulb. This is good for institutions where they have no maintenance men that can take out and bypass the ballast that's in the light fixture so they can run straight 110 volts right to the bulb. Why would I want to keep a ballast like down here in this fixture is this, this turns 120 volts in the high voltage to run your old light bulbs. It's wasting energy. The whole point of doing this is to get the ballast out of here and put the 110 right to the bulbs. The other, they come end feed where the black and the white wire go to the end of the bulb. So we put black and white on one end. The other end of the tombstones have no wire at all. We snap in the bulb. This is also called a shunted installation where all our electricity is going to be at one end, one tombstone, and the black and the white wire are going to be in one tombstone. And when we plug in the bulb, the electricity is going to come in right there. The other way that we do this, and they come double-ended, where the black wire goes on one end and the white wire goes on the other end. This particular fixture, we're going to take and put a black wire to this bank of tombstones. We're going to put the white wire to that bank of tombstones. And when we put this bulb in, bingo, it's going to have black, white. It's going to light that way. So here we'll give you a quick example how easy this is. We have a light fixture. We have a ballast. It's already been pre-wired. We already have all these tombstones are wired together with two wires, but if we put these two wires together up here, we're just going to send the white all the way down and all these tombstones are going to get the white. We're going to take this side and we're going to send the black or the hot wire to all these tombstones. So all we have to do is put all these together with a wire nut, put it to the black, put all these together with a wire nut and put it to the white and you'll see how easy this job really is. Here's our temporary power supply. Just a pigtail we had laying around in the store. I'm going to go one up on the wire nut. You'll notice I was able to use an orange wire nut here because I only had two very fine wires with one 16 gauge wire. But here I got a few more wires involved. So I'm going to take and go with a yellow wire nut. So when you're wiring, know that you need, you have the ability to size your wire nuts to suit the job. And the other trick is, is see how tight I put them in? You tighten these wire nuts up. So every single wire is in there tight and that a single one can pull out. This particular LED bulb has its own diffuser built in. They put all the LEDs on the back side. Barely see a little white strip here, but they also put printing here. So when this bulb goes in, this bulb has to go in so that this is the back side. So when it's in, this tube has got its own built in diffuser. A lot of times with LEDs, you can see all the LEDs. This one you can see the LEDs barely because it's got a pretty well made built-in diffuser. It really doesn't need a reflector because the light is going to come all this way out of this anyhow. Put the power. One nice LED bulb. A 4000 Kelvin bulb, a little warmer, against a 5000 Kelvin bulb closer to daylight. The whole point is, knowing who Kelvin is, a 4,000 Kelvin bulb is a little warmer, good for at home. A 5,000 Kelvin bulb is more like daylight, good for inside my store. You should be able to start converting your fluorescent fixtures into energy-saving LEDs. Simple tips from MrHardware.com.